Welcome to day 5 of my 100 days of workflow journey. Today we're going to convert a design that I made on Figma into a real website on workflow using the client first style system. We're going to later on audit this website on Google Lighthouse to make sure that we get a really good score. We're going to do all that in just one click. Yes, you heard that right, in just one click. We're going to use the Figma to workflow plugin to make the conversion and I've already designed these pages using the client first style system on Figma. So without further ado, let's just jump to it and see how this is done. So if you're not familiar with client first, it's a style system made by FinSuite to build websites on Webflow. So this is a way to structure your website in a way that is organized you can name your component name your section name your div blocks in a very organized way there is more information here in the docs on how to do this and if you go to finsuite slash client first and you can find more information about what this is how it works and all that so this is really good for you to build websites for the search engine to scroll uh, crawl your websites and if you share this with your client, for example, they can easily change or with other developers, they can easily know what's what. And um, yeah, I really hope my tweet is featured here someday. <laughs> but yeah, goals. But anyways, so now let's use this. So I created the design using the system on Figma. So you see, this is my design on Figma. Uh, it's called Finflux. Finflux is an imaginary consultancy finance firm. So everything is done in a client first way. So you see like this is the home page. Uh, there's padding, uh, there's section, then there's padding, then there's container, then there's here component. Uh, the text are text size large. You know, you see like everything is, is as it's supposed to be like button, like this is button secondary. And let's move me here. So button secondary. And yeah, so you, you get the point. So this is done with the client first system. So you can find the style guide kit on, on Figma community. It's for free. So they have an explainer on how to use it. Everything is structured here. You have headers, you have footers, you have gallery sections, feature section, logo sections and everything. And uh, so basically I use this to build my Funflex website. And now we're going to convert this website to Workflow with the Figma to Workflow plugin. So we go to the Figma to Workflow plugin. We click. Ah, first of all, make sure everything is in auto layout. Now this kit is done in auto layout. So there is not much to do here. But if you create new components, make sure everything is in auto layout. Just go on auto layout ensure that this is auto layout otherwise it's not going to work or it's going to give you errors so everything on my pages are auto layout and now i click on figma to workflow plugin i load the plugin i have to create a file on workflow so i create the blank file called it finflux so this is on workflow it's a blank file empty without anything I choose the file, so Finflux is chosen here, and then I click Copy to Webflow. So I'm going to copy this entire page into Webflow, and now I'm just waiting for this to copy. So copying, preparing assets, mm, just give it a few seconds, and yes, copy to clipboard. And then we go on Google Chrome, we paste this. And everything is done as it's supposed to be. You see like button primary, button secondary, paragraphs, paragraphs, the headings. Everything is properly done. So let's test this. What Like this website is really well. It's all done for you in, in the matter of seconds. I mean, you, you saw how quick we did this. Now we just published the site. So let's publish the site and see the score that we get so we publish the site it's looking really smooth and then we go on google lighthouse and try to generate a report let's see what the score 
is how much I will get. This is going to be, ah, uh, this is 100 accessibility, 100 performance, 100 best practices, 90 on SEO because, you know, we need to add meta descriptions. But this is super cool for something that we did in just a few seconds. This is, wow, this is wow. Thank you, FinSuite, for, for everything. Thank you, Figma to a flow plugin. So thank you for watching the video. I really hope I taught you something here. Please subscribe, like, do this whole thing. Drop me a comment if you have any comments. It's really impressive that we can do this nowadays. We have all these resources to create such good performing websites for the web. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for this journey. Tomorrow is day six. We're going to create something really awesome as well. So see you tomorrow.